so in this example i have created this uh, one screen with one plot table action button and this is the list view with delete button so you can see here the list of three products suppose that if i want to add just click on this uh, plus button then uh, we can write like mobile save and suppose laptop new product is added suppose that if you want to delete just simply click on this delete button this one and this right so let's see how uh, it's working so so here is the class I have created that is the product block and I am exp extending from block which is a abstract class with one dispose method it means I'm forcing uh, every uh, block class to implement uh, what is called dispose method where we can close our stream so what I'm doing just I'm creating uh, one stream controller this is the generic type where I have added list of string and from product controller I am creating here the stream uh, product list stream from uh, this stream controller let's uh, create one what is called the product list and this list will get from somewhere like uh, from any API call or uh, if we're reading from db or somewhere so let's create one a constructor in this constructor what i'm doing just adding in product controller dot add so what will happen if we have a uh, subscribe anywhere our product list is stream so if we add any new data in product controller dot add so that data will be listened by uh, that stream right so here is the dispose method where we have to uh, what is called close the controller if there is no use of this controller because if once we close this controller then this stream will be closed and all the data and resources will be destroyed so i have uh, this uh, page here so what i'm doing in this page uh, just i'm creating the object of uh, product block and uh, this is the stream builder i'm using uh, this stream uh, builder and this is the genic type so in our stream we have specified this is the list of a string so that's why I have taken here the list of a string and the second uh, line is here is stream then we have created one getter product list uh, stream so that's why I'm, I'm uh, writing here the product block dot uh, product list stream and the third thing is here if I add any new data in that stream so what will happen this build method will be called and here we can check if the snapshot has data if there is no any data so the control will go to here else condition and we can show uh, one uh, progress bar let's add two method if you want to add uh, delete products where we'll take the input as a product name and we can remove from the list and again we can add in that controller so and if you want to add a new product so I'm taking one new method we can add here the new product so I'm adding one uh, product in the product list and again I'm adding in the product uh, list controller so what will happen again those data will be uh, listened by our uh, product stream suppose that if you want to add any new data so what I'm doing just and click off this uh, save button I'm just calling that uh, uh, this add method from uh, that stream right so you can see here the product uh, new mobile uh, product is added and suppose that now I added here the delete button so I added here the delete button on click of delete button I'm calling this product block dot delete product so this method will be called and you can see the product is now deleted